Hello my friends and welcome, this is the latest update from Ukraine. Let's go for the front lines review. We have again the movement of Ukrainian army. It is clear that our guys liberated Robotina, it's already a long time ago, around three days, but now we're very close to Novoprokopovka and from the information I have, Russian forces start to retreat from this village. The evacuation wasn't organized by the Russian commanders as usual and the situation is pretty much the same as in Uraj the other part of the southern front lines, where Russian infantry just dropped everything they had and start to physically run from the village, but our artillery was ready for it. Here exactly the same situation, Ukrainian artillery start to target this way out from Novoprokopivka. My friends, unfortunately again I cannot post this video on this platform, so please check out my link for the Telegram channel, there you may find more information. But I can explain you what happened over there. So this road is the way out from Novoprokopovka village. As you can see, Russia built some of the defense lines, but there is no one to secure them. Because all of the Russian soldiers from that village start to leave it, because Ukraine constantly uses the artillery systems to target their positions. Russians start to run away mostly by feet, however they had a couple of the vehicles, and Ukraine just aimed towards their positions on the road. They might have avoided this situation if they choose this field to evacuate, but probably there are some mines placed by Russians themselves. So the only way for them was to use this road, and it's the very tiny little place that is very nice target for the Ukrainian artillery. If we look at this map, the way out for Russians was using this road from Novoprokopovka to Ilchenkove. I guess just few of the Russian soldiers made it to Ilchenkove. But yesterday and the day before yesterday, Russia tried to counterattack towards Robotny. They also used artillery systems to target Ukrainian positions, but all of their attack failed and Ukraine went on a counterattack to push them towards Novoprokopivka successfully. That's why they were forced to retreat under our fire. And now let's check out the timeline for today. This was yesterday and it is today. Let's look at the Russian defense lines. Yes, indeed, Ukraine penetrated this one over here. The Ukrainian and American military officials already stated that Ukraine made it through the most difficult part and later on we expect that the counterattack of Ukrainian army intensifies. Because Russia simply is unable to use that much mines over here, they need to organize supplies and movement of their own defense forces. They are physically unable to do it across the minefields. Yes, there will be mines still, but not as much as over here. I think that soon we're gonna see this kind of picture and this kind of picture. It is understandable that Ukraine has one vector of attack over here and one towards Verbove. But it is not the only place where Ukraine assaults. Also we have this part. Here Ukraine was able to liberate quite a lot of the territories and just recently Urashina village. So Ukrainian army will continue to make the progress in this territory, but here as you can see it's very far from the main defense lines still. But actually it is good that Ukraine has two of the vectors of the counterattack because we may deflect the attention of the Russian army in both of the directions pushing from one side then from other and Russia would have to split their forces depends on the threat to their army. Army. We also have the update on the situation in Klishivka, but before we go to it, let me tell you about the partner and the sponsor of my channel, it is the Atlas VPN, the best VPN out there and why? Because they respect my followers, that is why they came out with a special deal, especially for our guys where you can get the Atlas VPN Premium for just 170 per month and you'll have 6 months for free. It is the best deal from all of the Premium VPNs available. If you don't care about your digital security, my friends, think twice. 5 years ago I lost my Pilot Blog YouTube channel and I have to restart it. Basically my device was hacked. If I would have used Atlas VPN, it won't be happy. So I tried many VPNs since that time 
but for Atlas VPN, I trust the most. Also, Atlas VPN grants me the full access to any kind of series on the Netflix streaming platform. So I don't care about the government restrictions any longer. And sometimes I check the enemy side social media and for that I also use the Atlas VPN. You can basically change your virtual location to any point in the world. And Atlas VPN is so fast that you will never feel the difference whether it's on or off. And now my friends, please check out my personal link in the video description just below or scan the QR code available on the screen. There you can get the Atlas VPN Premium for just 170 per month plus 6 months for free. It is the best offer from all of the premium VPN services available and it is done especially for my subscribers. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and join the club. All right, as I promised, let's go to Klishivka. This is the Klishivka village. Hopefully you can see it from this satellite image. And Russia controls now just this part of the village. Ukraine controls this part and the rest, this territory, is the gray area, where there is the active fight between the Ukrainian and the Russian side, but Ukraine has the main assault vector and soon, I believe, we're gonna liberate Klishivka. The problem here that Russia has defense lines not far away and they may send reinforcements to Klishivka. On the bottom we have the Andrivka village, which is much smaller compared to Klishivka. That is why it was very difficult to liberate Klishivka from the Russian occupiers. The main thing that Ukraine continued to control the very important heights very close to the village and we are able to target the Russian positions from those hills and also perform the surveillance operations without the drones. I am sure that Ukraine will liberate the village very soon and the next probable obstacle for us is this natural one river that goes from this lake towards the Bakhmut city. And there is the downhill which our forces have to cross towards the Russian controlled territory. And here are also many of the channels that Russia may potentially use. It is difficult, but it is not impossible. We also have the video from the 30s Ukrainian Assault Brigade which performs the assault tasks in Bakhmut direction and they use tanks over there. They use high ground as you can see and there is probably Bakhmut in front. Well, really hard to tell, but anyways, Ukraine is on a counterattack, which is good. About the possible Russian assault towards Kupensk city, they accumulated quite a lot of the forces over here and they actually tried to move forward but not successfully still the ukrainian army was able to withstand the russian attacks but russia bombed this bridge across the oskil river they say that it was done by ukraine ukraine says that it was done by russia i believe that it was russia because we need supplies for all of those villages in this direction why should we target our own main supply line nevertheless now Ukraine still able to supply all of this region. I cannot say how we made it because I will open some closed information. But I guess Russia still may try to attack the Kupensk city maybe a little bit later, late autumn or even in December. Now to the bad news. Unfortunately, the information about the Ukrainian military aircraft collision was confirmed today. Three of the Ukrainian pilots lost their lives. Together with this pilot, his name was Andriy Kolsain Juice. He got some of the social media accounts. I subscribed for him on Instagram for a long time. And it's the sad story, my friends. Some resources say that it was the training flight and some that it was the military mission. However, this crash happened really far away from the front lines in Zhytomyr Oblast. We have photos of the airplane debris. Clearly, it is the L-39 training airplane. Well, you may perform the military missions on this one too, but those would not be effective against the Russian army. Before, Russia stated that it was the MiG-29 collision, but it was the L-39 and the other L-39. This is the other airplane and again with 100%, I may confirm that it is the L-39 from this aft part of the engine exhaust. The remains were recovered from the place and that's it. By the way, my friends, today it was the day of the Ukrainian aviation, commercial and military all together. And unfortunately, we have this very tragic case 
then Ukraine lost three of the pilots at one accident. From what I understood, Andre was selected for the F-16 program and was going through the theoretical course in the base. There is the picture on his Instagram page with F-16 cockpit placard, we call it Paper Tiger, which is mostly used by the pilots for their initial training. I done it with every my aircraft type, creating those kind of the paper tigers, at least the big placard, where I located all of the bulbs, switches and instruments that I need to perform the successful simulator training and skill test. It is very good to train the procedures according to the manual and your physical muscle memory. What I don't understand about the case is why this information was hidden from us yesterday, because the accident happened yesterday afternoon. Russia spread this information throughout their resources, so people may think, okay, I'll better trust Russian resources because they spread the correct information faster. I think that our Ukrainian resources should have said about it. Just briefly, accident happened, two of the airplanes collided, the search and rescue teams are working, we're gonna update you soon. The information vacuum creates the field for speculations, misinformation or even propaganda, as we saw from the Russian side. They talked about two MiG-29 laws. So I think that we should tell the events as they are, if possible. Because finally, in the 21st century, everyone would understand what happened. Ukraine has already created dozens of the drone boats. The head of the Ukrainian intelligence Budanov said that Russian ships may feel something in the nearby future. I guess we should prepare for the long-term war. Trudeau in his interview said that G7 countries will support Ukraine as long as possible and Russia still has many of the allies, including those countries that looks neutral like China, that supports the equipment to the Russian military factories. That is why Russia still has resources, they are willing to announce the new mobilization that may be started this autumn. Ukraine also has the support from our allies, but that support is quite limited for the scale of this war. That is why I think that it might take several years for this war. I know that some part of society in the Western countries are not willing to support Ukraine, and sometimes they screen too much, so it may look like there are lots of the people like that. Actually, it is wrong perception. It has always been like that. The part of society just do not realize what is happening. Plus, if they listen or watch some of the Russian propaganda, yes, they will follow it. Here you may see some of the photos taken in the United States of America during the Second World War. Then America started to support Britain in their fight against Germany. You see, arm Britain and prolong the war, land lease, lose lives. Why not peace with Hitler? Yeah, definitely. Hitler has not attacked us. Why attack Hitler? If you change here Britain for Ukraine and Hitler for Putin, those would be exact the same words that Russia propaganda uses nowadays in Western countries. Those people just didn't realize that they would be on the wrong part of the history. And according to the New York Times, Russia pushes long-term influence operation in social media, in mass media, in the Western countries, in United States, in Europe, to push their Russian peace. They might create more levers to split the national society in many of the Western countries. They will propel numerous of the conspiracy theories about the support of Ukraine, about the help of Ukraine, already they start to speak about the corruption, that all of the Western help goes to the black hole, you need to stop it. Actually, yes, we have the corruption in Ukraine, but the Western help, especially the military help, is transparent. So on this channel, we are together conquering this event that is happening from Russia with truth and facts. And I think we do it more or less effectively. I try to be unbiased also, but it's hard for me because I'm Ukrainian originally. Remember, there was the meme that Prigozhin created with Bieber and Dolik. So just Dolik left, Prigozhin crashed on his plane crashed on his plane and Bieber lost his life somewhere on the front lines. So it is just for Dolik to fight on the Wagner side against Ukrainian army. 
Actually, I think Bieber signed the contract with the Russian army because Wagner went out from Ukrainian territory and from what I understood, they are still mostly in Belarus camp. The United States of America pushed Russia very hard by interfering into the oil market. They asked Iran, yes, the allied country, in some way to the Russian Federation to sell their oil to China. As exchange, the United States might lower some sanctions on Iran, but China will have more oil, not from Russia, but from that country, and that drops the oil prices significantly. After the Russian tanker was attacked in the Black Sea, Russia sent much less oil to the third countries using that route. Plus, this is the greatest punch for the Russian oil expert. Here you see that the United States of America has the influence even on the countries which are not quite friendly with the United States. The big game is played by the big players and Putin with Russia is not here. Putin says that the influence of dollar dropped in the world economy. Well, I may say that for euro, you see that less products were purchased for euro this year. Nevertheless, euro stays strong, but dollar, which you may see over here, actually hits the record this year. Around 47% of all of the goods in the world got purchased by dollar united states dollar to be more precise to some of the sport news ukrainian boxer usik won the title match today i was quite busy to watch this event but from what i understood from the short video he dedicated his victory to the ukrainian armed forces and it is awesome. It raises the awareness about Ukraine and Ukrainian army globally, so probably will have more support. And now, my friends, please press the like to this video and also please check out my personal link in the video description just below, where you may find the Atlas VPN Premium with a huge discount, especially done for my followers. Hurry up to join the club. I wish you all a peaceful sky wherever you are and have a great time.